you're welcome once again this is castive sdc tech we are still on the journey of creating e-commerce using the Django framework if today is your first day we have already done first and second one it will be on our description today we're going to deal with urls the connectivity between pages and admin go under your project name double click on the url there if you don't have url i want you to copy it now how do you copy that right click here this is how i'll copy it i'll right click here and i'll select refactor and you can copy this now when you copy url it is still the same location as you can see it's here altara but i am going to add it to a different location which is our store so click on store click on ok and refactor it now we have it here we need two different urls we're going to set those two different urls separately our first url is going to be under our main project so double click on that you will see all this information here you can delete them no problem but i prefer to maintain this information and instructions here it's here it's our import our library but at this point uh, i'm going to add comma and few things here so we're going to include we're going to include something and go on with our, our django we need our configuration so we're going to configure our url so that our website be to this let's add the dot import and then all the settings you remember that we set dot in our products we're going to create a list so we're going to create a list and with the list i want you to add the include we're going to add our store to this now we finish with this one so let's add static with our strings so let's put the settings here add our media underscore url and the django it comes with them so do this and it's equals to settings media underscore root so now this is done remember we created a view here this one we're going to create application in here and we will do that so let's try to create these things first let's import we will use index and we also use store sorry store no index at this point and there is no view so this is what's happening in order not to confuse us set a new python files as follows so you're going to create this one c-a-r-t python file yes correct set a new one you're going to set home all this is under view folder login and we're going to create another orders so we have orders and last but not the least we're going to create signups okay if you have sign in then somebody must also be able to sign up that is what we have double click on home and in home from the django dot shortcuts let's import render okay and redirect and http redirect we will know where it's going to go so uh, next also is store dot models everything is under model most importantly where things are going to go it's where the models are so that is what we are doing and making sure that they really work for us so let's keep it models dot category and import category next we're going to search for uh, import from view the django dot view and import view 
next is class the index we talk about remember the index i talked about so we are going to create index capital v good and again we're defining our post we we'll make it a request and then what are we looking for we're looking for product product should be equal to a request and let's say request dot post dot get the word product again we're going to do if you can remove if you can get it then you can remove it isn't it that's it so we have remove dot equal to here request dot post dot remove and the next is a cart so the cart is equals to the same but remember in our cart we are setting it to a session we want to know how many times our thing has been set then it has to be a session not just a post so this is what we're doing now that you are done let's set state our function okay if our cart we need to know the quantity we need to know the quantity dot get into bracket product now for the remove if our quantity is less than or equals to one then it has to pop up else with the product should be equal to our quantity yep else the cart into our product our quantity one we have to do that our cart will be equal to just here i want this one no need to waste time so we have this equal to one else okay nested functions we have if else if else if else and if else this is containers so we have our cart we have our cart products request and everything it's set the next thing we're going to do is a request to a request to also use our other views html and so on and so forth so we're going to set it to get get self and comma let's request now once you request that anytime you see a return that means we are printing please don't get confused of this anytime we see a return we are printing instead of saying print so here we're using f formatting f formatting in python this is f formatting we are doing concatenation we're going to combine things together so whenever you use f formatting you don't use any bracket either than curly bracket so we request we get full path we want the whole path to come and that path must be really part of what we have if you don't have the path in there it's not going to work for you let's put a simple one request at a time so we have one request at a time and our store is going to also request we 
we're going to request for our work indentation okay let's finish this first and we're setting our cart equal to the request we want to make plus a session if we need a session and then we get it as for the card if not if all these things did not work if all these did not work then we think of another thing the request must be set all the time so stay tuned and our session also must be there our work so we have products our categories the id we will get it and after getting it how do we get it we need to do this remember we set all this is this thing in category page and the product already so we have said that now let's see how we can fetch our data here so the data should be equal to a list which we don't know you can consider this as an empty list or even we're going to use this one to combine our F formatting system so let's see now that is data now let's pick another data for a list so here we have products with s let's set it to our products and the data we have another list category we have categories and set it to categories okay we're almost there now it is perfect you have to print something because if you don't print it at this point in time we have to tell the user whether they are doing something right or they are not doing something right or what is going on because whatever we're doing is going to function behind the scene so now we're going to say something for the users to see you are remember we use f formatting on top so we're going to request f formatting is here so we're going to bring this request here down here to combine them i told you it's concatenation system so here let's set it to column then comma request so you are requesting a session dot session dot get and we're going to put the email that you <laughs> will be requesting and after that we will return we will print or we will render and request the next thing we're going to do is index.html so index.html now we don't have index.html yet but we will create one very soon we're going to create one very soon so let's set the data to that and you are done perfect your home is set and everything is set but you see now we have another url issue here we will have to the views here we will go back and make sure that they all work perfectly for us so yes so far so good this is 
the end of this session thank you for sticking around please stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe don't forget to click on the notification put comment any question that you need i will be able to respond to you i'll do my best to respond to you thank you Steve out.